Hello everyone and welcome to the SharePoint Developer Training Course Programming C Sharp 4.0 Lesson 8. Today we're going to be talking about operator precedence. Now we already know what an operator is and we've went over a few of them but there's quite a few more that we're going to have to cover and again some of these operators are operators that we're not going to cover for a while. So what, I'm, what I've done is opened up a Wikipedia site that uh, you're going to want to go to and just to review um, you know, all the different operators. It's kind of pointless for me to type it out and put it in our C-sharp comment. Uh, it's much easier to see this type of data on Wikipedia. So with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and open up uh, Wikipedia here. And you'll notice, uh, here's the link. Uh, operators in C and C++, it's also uh, for C sharp 2 and you see some of the ones that we've talked about already basic assignment addition subtraction the increment and the decrement the modulo division but really what we want to talk about uh, is operator precedence okay so you can see we haven't talked about this we have talked about uh, again increment and decrement haven't talked about a lot of a lot of these things so instead of boring you to death I'm going to let you um, you know write this write this link down as an as a reference area uh, and then we're actually going to just talk about what operator precedence is which you're probably already quite familiar uh, with from math class so let's go ahead and open up uh, our C sharp program okay and um, Let's go ahead and just create a variable. Then we'll go ahead and let's go my int equals, and we could have done on the above line, 5 plus 1 times 6, console right line my int so is it going to be 5 plus 1 equals 6 times 6 and equals 36 or is it going to be uh, 1 times 6 or 6 plus 5 uh, 11 so we're going to go ahead and run the program and we'll notice that it's 11 and if you remember from math class you always multiply unless it's in uh, parentheses, which we'll do now. So now we've just changed the order of precedence, and now we're going to go ahead and run it again. This time we're going to get 36. Okay, so the short definition of operator precedence is which operators do you do before the other operators? Do you do plus, minus, or addition and subtraction? multiplication division let's try uh, let's try this one uh, int my int 2 these are horrible variable names by the way <laughs> um, equal 6 my int 2 okay so now we know We'll just run it again and make sure we get 36, which we do. Now we'll do plus plus. So what answer are we going to get? Are we going to get 6 times 6, 36, plus 1? Well, we'll see. 36. So the increment, well, we'll just do this and make it a little easier to see. plus plus now it's 42 so if you notice on our previous um, function and I gotta quit saying ums because someone actually yelled at me I said they said I said ums too many times to the in the movie so I'm gonna watch watch that but again that's just my slow wheels turning our postfix operator occurs after the actual 
multiplication. Our prefix occurs before the multiplication, so that's you know another way that order of precedence you know changes the outcome. So let's try this. And we'll put and, and you're you're never gonna be doing this in uh, in a real program, I hope. Uh, unless you really, really want to just be confusing to someone who else is going to be using your code. Let's see what happens here. 36. So even with those uh, parentheses in, now, in there now, it still occurs after the multiplication. And that's something that I didn't even know going into this because I would have never done that. Now, one thing that we want to do here is if we have a whole bunch of these things, it's nice to break them up, in my opinion, on different lines. So what we would do is, uh, you know, my int equals 5 plus 1, and then uh, my int equals my int times 6, right? So and then we'll run again, 36. So that just goes to show you, in my opinion, this is much easier to understand and way less buggy than something up here. Uh, so again, that's pretty much it for operator precedence. There's a ton of different operators and really what you need to do is look at the different operators as they come up, understand where they fall in the overall chain of you know, precedence hierarchy, uh, so that way when you're you're writing these statements, uh, you know, you understand that, you know what, my int uh, with the postfix incrementer is going to be, you know, evaluated afterwards if for some reason in the world you're, you're doing that. But again, uh, you, you will need to know uh, operator precedence. I strongly encourage you to, you know, just simply review it as they come up. So if you have any questions or have any comments, uh, please feel free to let us know and I will see you for the uh, next series of videos which are actually going to be on uh, decision and, and branching statements. So see you then. Thanks for joining us.